Hello folks and welcome to sunny Spain. Um, right now I've got a Raku firing that's in, in process and um, I thought I'd just take you in and just go through with you before I take some of the, the pots out of the kiln uh, just show you some of the things I do the reduction with. Okay so let's go. La 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 Right, well there you can see we've got the kiln in in action. It's a small little kiln, you've seen me using it before on some of my video clips. It's very quick and easy kiln to make using uh, an, oil, an old oil drum that you clean out and then line with ceramic fiber. Um, it has a... Uh, the floor of the kiln is actually uh, refractory bricks on the inside and then on top of that you've got the shelf with sort of uh, props about so high. It's got an ordinary sort of DIY type burner that you would buy at your local hardware store. Okay, I've adapted it so that it's got as you can see here, I put a, this handle here so I can lift the lid off. Just simply drill a hole on either side and then with a piece of metal make the handle. And the, the chimney, the chimney there where I'm pointing is just the, where the cap, cap filler used to be. Alright, the, the gas that I'm using is a bottle of propane gas. Propane is, is best. Let me just show you now. I've got here these old paint containers, and inside of each of these containers, we've we've placed straw. Now you can do you can do raku reduction in using other things. You can use sawdust. You can use in this bucket here I've got these are like wood chips in fact when we were making that wheel over there I think we had a a planer and we were planing a lot of wood with an electrical planer and these are the the shavings that came off the, 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 the from the planer we've also got here as you can see more straw in case we need to add more and I find straw I've used um, sawdust and I've used newspaper and I've used dried leaves and I've used I've never used horsehair I have to admit that's a new one on me I haven't never used that but um, maybe I'll give it a go one day all right so now these paint containers it's best if they haven't got too much paint in them and make sure they're fairly cleaned out if possible you don't want to get um, the fumes of the burnt paint. I don't want to smell that in really. In any case, if you're going to do this, you need to do it in, in, in a place where you've got plenty of air blowing through, such as, such as we have here, in an airy kind of in, environment. But I use these because they, they're cheap and I get them off the rubbish tip and they don't cost me anything. So that's them. And these are all ready now. And basically what I do is we make inside a sort of nest, okay? What happens with, with straw is you get sort of instantaneous combustion, so you get a lot of flames immediately. And then uh, we kind of cover it with the straw and then quickly put the lid on. And we keep them in there for approximately, um, probably about 10 minutes, and then I generally tend to lift the lids off and take the pot out, let the, hear the glaze crackling, as you do and then I put it back in again and I cover it again for an another at least another five minutes and that um, and that's how I do do the reduction after that they're taken and they're washed and scrubbed off okay right folks well there it is a very sort of brief explanation of what I'm what we're up to here um, join us for the continuation of this clip as we take the pots out of the kiln and actually do what I was telling you about. Okay folks, keep practicing.